Hello cruise mates, welcome back to our channel. One of the most frequently asked question is, whether you should book an inside cabin or an outside or balcony cabin. In this episode we would like to give you all the infos, which should help you to answer this question. We would like to take you through a review about the types of cruise ship cabins. And list the pros and cons and give some guidance whether you should book an inside, outside or balcony cabin. In the end we will also share with you our personal evaluation and decision for our cabin type. So let's start. There are five main types of cruise ship cabins. First, inside cabins, with no windows or balcony. Second, outside cabins, with a window. Third, balcony cabins, with a balcony. Fourth, suites, a larger cabin with separate living and sleeping areas. Fifth, Yacht Club Suites, a larger cabin with separate living and sleeping areas. The last four, outside cabins, balcony cabin suite and yacht club are in general all outside cabins, as they are usually located on the outside of the ship. Where the inside cabins are on the inside of the ship. An inside cabin is located in the center of the ship, with no windows or balcony to the outside. Inside cabins offer no natural light and therefore they are cheaper than the others. Depending on the width of the ship, there will be two rows of outside cabins on each deck, with several inside cabins across the middle. The larger the ship, the more inside cabins there will be. Small, luxury ships sometimes have no inside cabins at all. There are also no inside cabins on river cruise ships as they are not wide enough to accommodate them. If you find our clip informative, then please subscribe, like, share, and leave us some comments below, and we will keep you up to date with valuable information. Are there family rooms on cruise ships? Most cruise ship cabins sleep up to four people. You'll usually have either double or twin single beds and then extra beds which are either sofa beds or top bunk beds which pull down from the ceiling. These are also known as Pullman beds, after the inventor, Mr. George Pullman. An alternative, if you are looking for two separate bedrooms could be interconnecting cabins, two cabins with a door in between, or a family suite large accommodation with a bedroom for the adults and either a second bedroom or sofa bed in the living area for the kids. But let's have a closer look into the main three types of cabins, the inside cabin, the outside cabin and the balcony cabin. The luxury suite and yacht club cabin we will leave out of this review since they fall under the category of balcony cabin, just with more space, partially also separate rooms, upgraded finishes, more luxury and more furnitures, etc. By the suits and yacht club cabin you will also find several more subcategories and upgrades which we will cover in a separate way. Our three types which we will review in this clip here shall be only the inside, outside and balcony cabin. Inside cabins are located on the inside of a cruise ship and have no windows. Outside cabins, often known as ocean view cabins, are almost identical in size and amenities but have either a porthole or picture window. Balcony cabins are usually slightly bigger than the first two and provide a small private outside space. So let's start with the first one, the inside cabin, and let's have a brainstorming of its features. Price is usually the primary factor that makes passengers choose an inside cabin over an outside. That said there are lots of other benefits to booking an inside cabin. Think about how you could spend the money you save by booking an inside cabin, it could buy your drinks, your excursions, if we had the choice between a 7-night cruise with a balcony or a 14-night cruise in an inside cabin, it would be for us personally for sure the 14-night inside cabin. 
you should think about how much time you plan to spend sitting on your balcony during a cruise that will be packed with interesting deck activities, things to do and entertainment. People going overboard on cruise ships is very rare, but it has happened. Balconies can be dangerous places for children of all ages, whether it's a curious toddler climbing up on a chair close to the railing, or a reckless teen attempting to climb over to the balcony next door. The doors to balconies are usually heavy with high up locks to prevent young children from going out on the balcony whilst the adults are asleep or in the bathroom. However, that's not always the reliable safety. Some bigger kids can still reach the lock or use a chair, or what if you forget it to lock? As an inside cabin has no windows, when you turn off the lights it is completely dark. We love sleeping in total darkness. Sleeping in a completely dark room is an ideal way to ensure that the whole family gets enough sleep and wakes up fresh the next day. Should you need bit of background light, then you can always leave the bathroom door bit open and switch on the light there. Inside cabins are more private. You can often see the people on the next balcony, and especially if you choose an recessed balcony, people may be able to look down onto you. Most cruise ship balconies are only big enough for two chairs, meaning that not everyone in the family can enjoy it at the same time. You don't want your kids to be sitting inside while you enjoy for example the port sail away. Inside cabins make you more active and make you experience more. An inside cabin gives you a kind of an extra push to get up and go onto the deck and join the full experience on deck. So you could say that an inside cabin make you see more of the cruise. Let's have a brainstorming about the second one, the outside cabins. Outside cabins are also known as ocean view cabins. The locations of outside cabins are often more limited than inside cabins. A lot of modern cruise ships will have ocean view cabins lower down on the ship with balconies higher up. On almost all cruise ships the windows in the outside slash ocean view cabins do not open, this is due to safety reasons. The actual square footage of inside and outside cabins are usually identical. You'll usually find that the things that are in inside cabins and outside cabins are exactly identical. You'll usually find the same pieces of furniture but they may be organized in a slightly different way. That said, some inside cabins and outside cabins are exactly the same and the only difference is just the window. With a window you'll have daylight. A window means that you're woken up gently by the daylight instead of the beeping of an alarm. In a windowless inside cabin you will have no idea what time it might be, if it is daytime or night. For some cruisers this might be also a disadvantage who just want to undisturb, deep, sleep in a dark room, as it was applicable for us. Our experience in outside cabins was, that usually we had anyway the curtains closed, to have the cabin as dark as possible to get a longer sleep. The view onto the ocean we enjoyed anyway from the deck, rarely we had a look through the windows, so the window, to be honest, was anyway not really paying out for us. And what about the third one, the balcony cabin? Let's have a brainstorming about this cabin as well and which features it brings. When is a balcony good to have? Imagine for example a cruise through Norwegian fjords. The scenery is absolutely beautiful, and you don't want to miss any of it. On a Mediterranean cruise, you might call at a new port every other day, with the ship arriving in port in the early hours of the morning. However, in Norway, your ship could call at multiple ports in one day. There are also crews where the ship sails past the scenery but you don't get off the ship. If you travel with a baby, a balcony might also give you a chance to put the baby in bed and then sit outside with a glass of wine and watch the beautiful sunsets. But this only if your baby or kids cooperate and fall asleep in time, all depends of course on the age of the child and the routines. If you don't like to feel enclosed and go out of your way to avoid places like lifts, caves, and crowds, then it would be wise to option for a balcony cabin. If your baby naps only in a bed or a cot in a darkened room, 
then a balcony will be incredibly valuable. If you're going to be confined to your cabin for one to two hours each afternoon, having a balcony where you can sunbathe with a book while your child sleeps will make a huge difference to how much you enjoy the cruise. Watch out by promotions, cruise lines often promote the balcony cabins and encourage people to book balcony cabins. A lot of ships have way more balcony cabins than they do inside cabins, and inside cabins are a lot cheaper, which can mean that they sell out first. When this happens, the cruise line has two options. Option A, get current passengers to upgrade either for free or for a reduced rate. Option B, offer an incentive to get future bookers to choose a balcony, this could be upgraded drinking packages for example. Marketing promotions are created, with offers such as, free drinks on balcony staterooms and above. If you're intending to purchase a drinks package anyway, this can be a good deal, as it can mean that the balcony cabin can work out to be a similar price to an inside cabin. However, look at the prices carefully to make sure this is good value. You usually find that balcony cabins are bigger but it's not by a lot. On some cruise lines, you may even find extra perks for booking a higher grade such as tea and coffee making facilities in balcony cabins, but not inside cabins. And now, our personal decision key features. For us, as a family with three small kids, we chose rather the inside cabin on our last Dubai MSC cruise. You will find also, cabin review clip on our channel, should you be interested to see how it worked out with us five in the inside cabin. The reasons why we decided for the inside cabin are as follows. Safety was our number one criteria. No worries about a balcony and naughty kids leaning over the rail. Yes, you have a special lock on the balcony door, but still, one would like to have this door actually open the whole time, which would be not possible with the kids. With the kids we would be anyway constantly busy on the deck. The entertainment on the ship, especially for the kids is amazing, we didn't want it to waste any time inside the cabin and rather get onto the deck. We wanted a nice deep and undisturbed sleep for the whole family, therefore a window, or balcony with daylight was not paying out for us. The inside cabin was cheaper, in our case, in total, around 400 euro less versus a balcony cabin. The money which we saved on the cabin, we could use for excursions and drinks. If you want to see more of our cruise review clips, please check out our channel, you will find there more of our reviews of the MSC Virtuosa and our cruise in Dubai, and also, how it was for us, to cruise with kids, and a baby. And if you don't want to miss out, on our new clip uploads with valuable and informative cruising tips, then please subscribe to our growing, Explore With Us, family travel channel. We and other cruisers would love to hear about your personal cabin experiences. Please share your views, tips, and hints, here in the comments below. We hope, this video was informative for you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And in case you are looking for some cool, cruise fashion, and accessories designs, see our online cruise shop, you find the link in the description below. Stay well, be good and see you soon.